Welcome back to my channel, it's your boy J-O-D with another episode of Thirsty Thursday, sipping on that tea. As you can hear my voice, it's not all the way down there, it's a deep type of voice. Um, got a stuffy nose. Um, it's just been the heat, it's been killing me. Uh, but yeah, it's nothing to do with the whole COVID, nothing with that, so don't worry, don't chill. Just chill. And um, yeah, that's not what we're talking about today. But before I get into the topic for today, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. If you haven't yet, go ahead and do that right now. Hit the like, hit the bell, that you get notifications every time I upload a video. What else do you need to do? Hit the comments, let me know how you feel about the topic for today. And speaking of that topic, let's go straight to it right now. People would rather lose you than fix situations. This, situ this generation is weird to me. Let me read that one more time. For the people in the back. People would rather lose you than fix situations. This generation's weird to me. People would rather lose you than fix situations. This generation's weird to me. This, genera this generation is weird because... If they don't get what they want, if they don't get their way in the relationship, in the situation, whenever they ask their partner or whatever the case is, their friends, it, and it doesn't have to be in the relationship wise. But if they don't get the way, then the whole situation is like completely like scrapped out. It's like they don't care anymore. Like we're done. We don't have to do it. I'll find someone else to who wants to do with me. Who wants to go to the club. Who wants to go party with me. Who wants to go get a drink. Who wants to eat with me. Or just want to go out with me. And they, they always. I feel like those kind of people. They like to go the easy way out. Let's keep it in the relationship wise. Where. If you and your partner's having a problem. Instead of trying to fix it. Trying to understand each other. Communicate with each other, and that's the key thing is communication. We talk, I talked about this in my past videos, and it's just something that you're supposed to be doing is communicating with each other, have that communication with each other because that's what whole that's what the whole relationship is about it's having that conversation, have the communication with each other. You're gonna always gonna step on each other's toes. You're, gonna, you're not always going to say yes to each other. You're not going to always like what you do for each other. You're not always going to like what's what your partner's doing. But you have to have the understanding from each other. You have to know that it's okay to say no. It's okay that your partner's mad. As long that they understand that they're not, getting contr you're, they're not controlling you. And that's also what you need to do is you, you need to let them know that I'm not always going to say yes. And if that's a problem for you, if that's a problem for them, then that's their problem, not you. Because I know if you ask them something and they say no, it's easy for them to say no and you don't get mad. So it should be easy for you to say no and they don't get mad. It has to work both ways. That's just something they need to understand. But for you, if you're the one that w likes to walk away from the relationship just because you don't get what you want, the problem is there, and you don't want to try to fix it, even though the problem isn't that big, I'm not talking about like cheating wise, I'm not talking about where they did something dramatic, dramatically that it has to end the relationship. Every relationship every situation do you need to come up with a plan you need to come up with hey let's talk it out let's see if we can fix it right now before we just end it before we just let everything go you also have to know that you gotta pick your battles you can't always fight and argue every single fight you have to know that it is okay that you have arguments. It's okay that you guys have your own fights. That's what relationship is all about. But if you constant, uh, constantly 
fighting, arguing every single day, then there's something wrong with you guys. You need to figure out what's wrong with that. You need to figure out, are we really meant to be each other? Are we really meant for each other? You have to know, and sometimes that might work in the end. So you just have to talk it out. You have to understand each other. Know when each other's boiling points. You have to know what presses each other. You have to know what, what you get to say and what you can't say. And they do the same thing. You have to understand that it is okay to have different opinions on on anything you don't always have to agree with each other if you want to do something different if you want to say no go ahead and say no and see the reaction if the person gets mad at you if the part if your partner gets mad at you or gets upset then that's on that's on them they have to know they have to know and understand why you say no for you say no because, oh, I, we can't hang out today. We can't hang out right now because I have to go to work. I have to make money for us to be able to enjoy these vacations, to enjoy this small outings, the small food that we always go and then get after dinner, for lunch, for dinner, for breakfast. Without me working, then I won't be able to provide for, provide for us. And same thing for them. I have to understand that oh, we can't always hang out with each other. The person, my partner has a job. My, per my partner has a family, has, has their own siblings they have to take care of. And that's okay. You don't have to always see each other 24-7. You have to know that you guys need to have your own moments. You have to have your own time apart. That's all what that makes your heart even love each other more. The time when you're able to see them, the more the feelings is right there between you guys. So don't waste your time arguing and fighting. But then the old, don't just try to end the relationship. Don't just walk out just because you're not getting what you want. Or they're not getting what they want, so they're walking out. You got to find the middle ground between you guys. You got to find the middle ground when it comes to the arguments, when it comes to those situations where you need to figure out what's wrong, what's need to be done to get it fixed. If you guys really love each other, if you guys really into each other, you got to know that. You got to fix that right away. A lot of relationships nowadays, for the first couple of months, they're really into each other. They're really, really into each other. Because they're always saying yes, 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 yes. And they're always, they're always 24 7. But once that moment where you guys are not together for one day, you don't hear from them, you don't text each other, you don't see each other on FaceTime or whatever the case is then stuff co starts coming up in your head now you become now you overthink about the situation where you don't have to do that and now that you're thinking now you have thoughts in your head that you want to end the relationship that you want to get out of it because you always used to the the partner saying yes to you that you're always going to see each other 24-7, every single day, every single minute. And now that you are apart for one day, things get crazy, now you want to walk out. Oh, you can't do this because we've not seen each other. Craziness. We're only, we haven't seen each other for one day, now you want to walk out, you want to end the relationship, now you want to start an argument, now you want to start a fight just because we haven't seen each other for one day. And the reasoning is right there, it's a legit reason. You have to know that it is okay to do that. It's okay to have fights, it's okay to have arguments when it comes to those. 
but just don't walk don't walk away from the relationship just because you you didn't get what you want right away you're not happy that you guys are not getting anything done as in the, the problem is there and you're not trying to solve it you're not trying to figure out you're not trying to compromise on a solution for the problem again I'm not talking about when it comes to cheating or anything that's bad that deserves to be ending the relationship right away but this is more for the little fights like I mentioned about how you, your partner or you want to hang out with each other and either of you or both of you are too busy with work family kids your siblings or just party because your family party whatever the case is that's your reason why you can't hang out for that day and now either you or your partner wants to end the relationship being a crossing a big scene just because you're not seeing that person for one day and now you got to end the relationship for what what's the reason behind all that instead of trying to fix it in, instead of trying to f try to figure out like have the communication where you know you're not gonna see each other 24 7 and that's fine you're not supposed to be doing it unless you live with each other even if you guys live with each other you still have you still should be able to have your own life the time where you don't see each other is at work unless you guys work at the same place then you you're pretty much screwed but when you're out with your friends your own friends your own set of girls your own set of boys that's the time where you need to know that it's okay to be distant from each other let each other do your own thing party with your boys let her party with her girls if you really love each other if you guys really into each other at the end of the day you guys are coming home to each other you're gonna see each other the next day I know it's a struggle when you're always 24 7 with each other and or hearing yes 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 to each other 24 7 and now once you hear the first no when the first time you don't see each other for a day for a couple of hours now the whole world's crumbling down now the whole or now you don't feel like you're living anymore it's okay it's okay to feel like that but don't just walk out of the life don't walk out of it enough with this whole relationship we can even talk about work, work wise when work gets hard in, instead of trying to adapt to it instead of trying to learn the job the job title you want to quit like oh this is so hard for me when really it's not even hard you just don't want to learn it you used to do you used to do your old job you used to do your own job title but you're not trying to you try you're not trying to um get better with yourself by moving up the next step the next level you will have to be able to learn some new task a new job that works better for your brain for your health because it's always a process it's always a good thing that you always elevate elevate yourself to the next level because if you don't you can get bored with the job you're always in you might say oh no I love this cuz it's so easy you want easy instead of hard but yet easy at the same time you it could be hard right now cuz you haven't learned it. You don't know what it is. You see it there. And you see people doing it. And you're like, I don't know if I could do that. But once you get the training, once you get into it, once you have the first stab at it, you be like, oh my God, I can't believe this is easy. I thought the job I was in, the the job that I was in, was easy. This is easier. 
And so you have to have the mentality of being able to adapt to the new things. New job, new scenarios, new titles. And just because you don't you don't like it at first, you don't like the change, you don't li you don't like changes, you don't like to move up, you want to quit. You want to go st you want to quit and start back from the bottom. Don't do that. You want to always make sure you're moving a step forward. You don't want to step back. You want to step forward every single day, every single month, every single year. That's the most important thing is stepping up. When it comes to jobs, you always have to make sure you're stepping up because you could lose your job no matter what. You could lose your job no matter where, le what level you're at. But if you're up there, if you keep on moving up, your boss will know like, man, this guy's been working too hard. This person's been moving up the ladder and, be, and learning the new level, the new process, new job. So if we move him up again, he's going to secure that job. And he knows that he won't, he won't get fired. So keep moving, keep moving up that ladder. Don't quit on your job, don't quit in life just when time gets hard. Life is hard, life is never easy. If life was easy, everyone would be going through it so fast, so quick, with no troubles. But life is hard. Life gets, bones get thrown at you. Stones, rust get thrown at you. So you have to be able to swerve it. You're in the car driving. There's some potholes, some bumps in, in the road. You have to be able to know how to maneuver to it. You have to be able to know how to move through that pothole, that bumps. And now that it's okay that you go, that you run through a bump, a pothole. And you felt that big bump. Now you think that your life is over, that you messed up your car. No. It's a mistake that you learn from it, and so you continue to move on from it. You're learning from it. Keep pushing to be better yourself, to better yourself in it. Again, when life gets hard, don't quit. Get through it. You're not the only one. Remember, you are not the only one that's going through life. Everyone has a hard life. You're not the only one. I'm going through a hard life. You might not see, it might not, I might not show it, but everyone is. I am dealing with it. But what keeps me, what keeps me moving is me moving. I can't stop it. I can't not dwell on the hard, the hardship, the hard life. I have to know that it's okay that we all, we are struggling. But if I don't move, if I don't, keep on making that moves to the next level, I'm going to struggle harder and going to struggle more. And you don't want to be that person. You don't want that. So I don't want that. I'm going to keep pushing no matter where my life ends up with or who ends up with or where it ends up with. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to make sure that I have a lot of knowledge wherever I go through, whatever job I go through, whatever relationship I go through have the knowledge, I'm able to learn from a relationship. I'm, well, I will be able to learn from the work environments I'm in and take that to the next step. Again, it's always moving up. You have to ele elevate yourself to the next level. So don't, rem don't forget that. It's okay that when time gets hard, just keep pushing. Don't walk out. Don't take the easy way out. A lot of people like to take the easy way out when it comes to all this life hard. Life is hard. I'm going to I'm going to leave now. I'm done with this. Don't don't do that. Seek help. Go to your friends, go to strangers and say that you know what? I've been having a hard time. If you don't mind, I like to talk to you. I just want to vent. I'm that person. If you want to vent, let me know. Honestly, if you're watching this video and you want someone to vent to, 
let me know. Hit hit me up on my socials. You could hit me up on my Instagram. You could hit me up on YouTube right here or anywhere that you see my social Twitter, whatever the case is. Hit me up. Hit me up on the DMs. We could talk it out. We could do a voice chat. We could do I don't have I don't have an iPhone, so we can't do FaceTime. But anything anything else, let me know. We could schedule a time and we could do this. I'm always I'm all ears. So if you need to talk to someone, if you need that seeking help from a stranger that will not judge you, I don't judge you, so don't worry about that, me judging anyone. I don't judge you. So if you want to talk to some stranger and tell tell me about your past, about your life that you're going through, the struggles you're going through, let me know. I've been talking too long for this whole video. And this video I feel like so deep that if you're feeling this, let me know. Comment below. Again, hit me up on my DMs if you really need some seeking help. If you seek help, let me know. If you don't want to talk to me, I could give you the number to, to talk to who you could talk to. Remember to take care of yourself and each other and my beautiful people. Yes, my beautiful people. Yes, my beautiful people. I'm talking to you. Have a nice day. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> Number one chemistry. Remix. Can't touch me. Can't touch Float us. like a butterfly, remix. sting like a bee. Raw ready chemistry. Stop don't remix. Quit me. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Number one champion, so you can't touch yeah, me. It's production. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Can't touch We're all greatest champions, so don't fool with me.